Hi, baby. Hi, baby. How you doing? I'm like, you know, chilling with the feline in the canine. This is what you just witnessed is kind of an exciting development because Ben and Ricks have been kind of scribbling each other out for the past couple of weeks and they're getting closer every day. So That's exciting. Really, yep. I'm just on our Magnolia Vision Instagram page sharing it to a bus page on Facebook. That's a very good idea. <laughs> and <laughs> what are we doing today? We're going to go back to Magnolia. We're going to try to unload the basement, empty the basement, Yeah. organize what's in there into relatively... <laughs> Hi. Into, into relatively meaningful piles so we can organize and inventory what we've got. And then uh, I'm gonna, we're going to go try and open those bay doors that we weren't able to get open last time. Which I don't think will be that hard. I've, I've, had, a big, I've had a big thunk about it, so I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. Plus, once we can crawl in there and it's empty, it's going to feel so cool because then we can, like, scope out... Well, we can measure it, for one thing. That'll be really important to do. And... Um, yeah, we can see all the mechanisms that are causing the doors not to open. So I think it'll be fine. Yeah. And, 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 and then where else are we going? Then we're going to Burgerville. Yeah. We always like to reward ourselves for bus like progress by eating really bad fast food because it's delicious. <laughs> I like that too. All right. <laughs> we brought so many tools out today. What a ring. Well, we brought all kinds of um, power tools, like a circular saw and a drill, and a, I forget, what else? Uh, there's the oscillating tool. Yeah. And we got the <laughs> sawzall. Yeah. And... Is that it? We can open it up, let's take a look. Okay. We have no rush today. Okay, so... That's the oscillating tool, sometimes known as a multi-tool. Okay. So there's that. This is the drill. Yeah, that's a regular drill. And we already have a drill, but it'll be nice to have two. This all came in one kit in, uh, at Costco. And so it seemed like a good deal. An impact driver. Impact driver. That'll come in really handy for loosening up really tight bolts or, you know, getting some good torque on some stuff. Cool. Okay. Always handy to have. And then... That is the sawzall. The sawzall. <laughs> okay. We still need a uh, like an angle grinder. We can get that. And the circular saw. Yep. Um, and then it also came with a little light. What else did we get? <laughs> What's that? What's in the box? That baby? It's like Christmas. It's an air compressor and a nailer, like a nail gun. A brad nailer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got. One of the tires, one of the wheels, the last time we were here, was looking a little low. So, we kind of knew we'd need a compressor eventually, and the brad nailer just comes in handy for doing it when we finally get in the side and start doing the framing. But uh, we thought we'd get the compressor now, pump up the tires, and then we'll have it for later and we can keep it in the basement when we go to our trip. So. for playing Ba-da-ba-ba-ba Ba-ba Ba-ba-da 
to editing, and I'm so happy for you both. S Cicada isn't that far at all. I'd love to go out sometime and see it. Also, we have a trailer if you need to haul anything away. Oh, perfect. Also, I know a body guy who could probably help you with that paint job repair. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, we'll have to message her back later. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go watch Patrick Rustolium, the the little bruised spot, the sad little bruise. That happened when we were trying to get this monster into this yard. <laughs> so if you didn't see our last video, this is what it looks like. I did an oopsie. Well, it wasn't his fault. He was just trying to drive the bus like a boss. He was being amazing and we basically drove him right into a post. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So he's gonna rust oleum it. So I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be picky. I'm not gonna be exact. Exact. I'm just gonna spray this. And you know what? The tire's already been painted blue by the last owner. So you know, it's all good. I just want to cover. <laughs> I just want to cover the metal, the bare metal, and get it protected, and then we'll deal with the rest later. Yeah. So. <laughs> Cool. There we go. All right. Done. Back to the hard work. <laughs> We're uh, maybe about a fourth of the way done taking everything out of the basement. And we're finding all kinds of weird things. <laughs> so We got the tire done. We did get the tire done. Um, it, it was definitely a good purchase for us to get an air compressor. The tire is now at... Uh, about 100 PSI. It's, a, actually... it's a little low, but now it's like normal. It's actually got more than the other tires do. Oh, does it? Okay. The other tires are around 90, 95. They're slowly losing. They could use they could use a bit more air. Okay. But I'm feeling comfortable with just leaving them around 100. Yeah. When we get into doing stuff and start driving, then we'll be more particular about the tire pressure. But right now, it's fine. We just don't want them to go flat while they're, while the bus is sitting here. Uh, we'll that's get, not good. We're gonna get the, we're gonna get them checked out anyway. So. Yeah. I suspect that a couple of these tires probably need to be replaced and um, when we do that we also need to get a spare because uh, this bus does not have a spare tire right now but all in good time it'll happen okay that's water yeah will you open it for me oh is it already open <laughs> thanks <laughs> all that's right fun. what i love you i love you off-camera smooches. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're welcome. I got it. All right, we just started the bus to, well, really, we just like to start it every time we come just to make sure that everything's okay. And uh, right now we're just letting the air pressure fill. Um, raise up to the where it's supposed to be, which is about uh, like if we were going to be driving it, we want it to get up to about like 125, I think, if I remember correctly. So right now it's sitting at 70, I don't know, 75 or so. Um, I'm going to give it a little gas. Last time we were here, we ended our visit by dreaming about what this bus is going to look like someday. We started at the back. I think we started at the back. I don't remember. Maybe we started at the front. But I just want to kind of show everybody what it looks like right now. I mean, it's so gross. And it's so ugly, but it's got so much potential. These are some of our tools that we brought over last time. Some more of our power tools. And when we finish this 40 foot space is going to hold our bedroom back here. And then 
art studio space. Maybe like four by seven or five by seven, five feet by seven. We'll see how much how much room we can spare for that, but enough space for him to have his drafting table and his easel. Um, and then after that, somewhere in this area, <laughs> we'll have a bathroom. And the bathroom is going to, you'll be able to um, walk through the middle of the bathroom from the kitchen. So like right now, I'm probably standing in the kitchen and we're going to do some kind of like a sliding door. Um, so you can close off the bathroom if you want, but you can walk right into the middle of it from the kitchen. And then the kitchen is going to be L-shaped. I think we'll probably have like countertop that goes along here. And then the L will kind of come out here. And then I think we're going to put the fridge on the other side. These are all decisions that can change. We don't really know for sure. Um, and then in the front, we will have a big couch and a dinette. The dinette will probably go on this side and the couch will probably go over on this side. I'm not sure exactly, but it's fun to come out here and dream and to see what this could be someday. And uh, right now it's a skeleton of the dream, but the skeleton's the most important part really. So we've got that part. Pretty excited. Hi baby. Hi. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. Okay. We try to get that one bay door open. Yeah. We focus on that one because yeah. I it might teach us what the other ones do. That's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> My God, she's smart. <laughs> All right. So we'll do that. Okay. And then if we can figure that one out and how to get it open from these fiddly little devices, the mechanics on the inside, yeah. then we can sort of start to put some of this stuff away and maybe put some of this trailer stuff that we're going to be putting in the dump maybe in front of the bus for uh, next day, next day. We'll, we'll double check with Tony if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Because um, I, I don't, I don't want to leave it out here. But I there's, want... there's some small stuff we can put in our trash thing. Yeah. And then the rest we can put out there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's try that. Do you want to crawl in and give it a shot? Or yeah. What's that mirror? I'm gonna close her in the bay. <laughs> She's got a light. And we're gonna leave one of one side open just so I don't kill. <laughs> We're going to leave this door open so she can crawl out in the very <laughs> But she's going to try to open this door from the inside using the mechanisms and the holes in there to see if she can. If she, if she, if, if they unlock, I will pull it open. But that's what we're going to do. So shall we set this in there? Look at you, girl. <laughs> so what did, what did you do? We, I'm determined to get all these bay doors open today. So. We just got one. We only have one left. Well, we got that one. But what about this one? Oh, I forgot about this one. Try it. Doesn't work, does it? No. Let me try again. Let me try. <laughs> that's not even moving. That's that's completely. Here's what I think. I think we should make it a mission to get all the big stuff, all the big trash, in front. In front, yeah. And. I want to I want to take these out and put them in front because all these are all this is getting thrown away all this stuff I'm sitting on 
<laughs> I'm, I'm just reclining on, uh, like, I don't know, some walls and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this stuff is. <laughs> but <Weirdo. laughs> I'm such a weirdo. Weirdo. <laughs> All right. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. And it's it's not just fun because mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun doing the, the the conversion or working around the bus or breaking it. Breaking is fun. Just just <laughs> on principle. <laughs> this is fun because I'm doing it with you. Yeah. It's a it's a future thing. I like you. getting dirty with you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> well, we are closing up the bus for the day. We got, I think we got a lot accomplished. All Let's right. see. Where are we going now, baby? We're going to go to Burgerville. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> we have to treat ourselves with terrible food after each of these work days because it's so, it's so exhausting. You. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> Look at these nice bags. <laughs> They're too pretty for trash. They are. <laughs> <laughs> They're very fancy. Don't get this huge staple in your butt. Uh, there's screws all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> what about this You're little? You're filming my crotch or something. I don't. You weren't filming my head. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut that out now.